Hey, it's April from the Noble Garden, and today I'm gonna walk around my garden and I'm going to spray BT and close up my cauliflowers because I have noticed that they are starting to get bleached or turn purple from the sun, which is fine, you can still eat them. However, I'm a market grower and a lot of people want white cauliflower, not bleached cauliflower. So I'm gonna go around and try to um, cover that up and that way it would be more presentable to the market. So follow me along and I'll show you what I'm doing. My cauliflowers, let me show you them, look really good, but you're gonna see some purpling in them and that is just because it's exposed to sun. I'm gonna spray this stuff with BT because on the other end it's getting a lot of worm damage and I wanna protect it. So I'm gonna BT it and then I'm going to wrap the leaves around it so I can protect it from the sun. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, I like to use BT for worm issues. Um, and caterpillar, this is an organic. It's just a normal bacteria kind of thing that's in your soil. Um, it's not harmful to us. It's not harmful for the environment, but worms hate it. And so I'm gonna, for example, you're gonna see me kind of, I'm more worried about the inside of the plant. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. This washes off. It's not gonna hurt me later as I eat it because my husband's gonna come around today and spray the whole garden with BT, but I just wanna get the inside done so I can rubber band the cauliflower. And the cauliflower, I'm rubber banding with these rubber bands. They do decompose. They're not harmful for the environment. But you just wanna come along and cover the cauliflower like this. Rubber band it. And now it's gonna finish growing in there and it's not gonna get exposed to the sun anymore. So I'm gonna go around. I have a few more I wanna do that too. I just found one that actually does have worms in it. So let me show you what I'm battling here. So, see the worms? I'm gonna hand pick these off and then I'll spray. But that little, let's see if I can get it in focus, guys. That little black stuff on it, I'll pick it up, but that's worm poop. So the cauliflower in this bed is now BT'd and protected. I have cauliflower in another bed that I wanna do the exact same thing to. So I'm gonna skip over to that bed. So I have two cauliflowers are pretty extensive caterpillar and worm damage that I wanna show you guys. <clears throat> so this has got a little out of hand. Um, 
I really think at least this one is a goner. I might just go ahead and pull it. I could treat it and see how it does, but I mean, it really does have, look at all them caterpillars in there. Wait, caterpillars? Do you say caterpillars? Yep. I think I'm going to pull this one. This one right here isn't as extensive, so it might be okay. The other thing I could take in consideration is that this one and that one look so bad, but if you look at the rest of them, they don't look as bad. So there's a possibility that this could be more like a trap. And if I take it out, then they're just going to find somewhere else to go. Um, there's one right there on another plant, speaking of. Here. She's not happy with me that I'm killing the worms. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I don't want this damage, so I really think I'm going to take it out. So that one's out. Let's go ahead and BT the rest and see if I can salvage at least this one. cauliflower in here which makes me super excited but we're gonna go around and rubber band it now so there you guys have it that is how you deal with caterpillars and that is how you prevent some damage from your cauliflowers so I showed you guys how to cover and protect the cauliflower from the sun. Today I'm outside and I'm actually going to harvest some of these cauliflowers because they've gotten quite big. That's gotten quite big. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take the plant out of the ground. Sometimes I leave the roots in, but I'm trying to put new plants in. Look at the good root system on that thing. So now, I'm going to take the rubber band off. I'm going to put it on my wrist because I do reuse. Look at this gorgeous cauliflower. I hope you guys can see this. But it was most definitely protected from the sun. I do think it actually probably could have gotten bigger. Um, it's starting to get really hot here and some of them aren't even going to seed. So I don't want to lose this one. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest it. We have this cauliflower. The other thing that you do, tear off the outer leaves. Caduce, you don't want, of course. I do feed my outer leaves to my chickens. So nothing around here goes to waste. Look at our beautiful cauliflower. But let's um, rubber band this one to see how this one's looking. So he's not a real big guy. Um, I'm going to leave him for a couple more days. 
Um, today is actually Thursday. We usually harvest things on Fridays for the farmer's market. Um, so I can leave him in here another day, but I really don't think I'll leave him in here past that because I do see a spot where, um, and I can bring you guys closer, but you'll notice here that the head is not as tight. So here would be my concern that it's starting to try to go to flower. Their heads open up, they're not as tight. So I'm gonna cover him back up and I will either look at him later today because it's supposed to be pretty hot today or I will look at him in the morning. But I do see a real big head. We are most definitely taking out. Guys, when I banged it up against the, I'm just trying to get the loose soil. So I'm trying not to take that much soil with me. But I'm going to show you guys this head. It's huge. This is more like it. Look how huge. All right, I'm gonna pick his leaves off so we can see it better. Look how beautiful that cauliflower is, guys. Guys, I decided to play it smarter and I brought a knife out to help me cut these bottoms off. So I'm looking at this one and I can tell it's pretty big, but a little bit I'm looking at it. Let's go ahead and cut it off. I'm going to get the roots out, but I'll come back around. It's taking too much time doing it that way, so I'll just come back around. So guys, this is what we've harvested so far. And I have another side that has some cauliflower I need to go look at. So I can pretty much tell you one, two, three, four, five, uh, they're all ready. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them out. I'm gonna show you this one because it's a little different than those other ones over there. Same brand. However, you notice that it's not as pretty and white. Whenever the sun gets to the cauliflowers, it dyes them colors. But it also gives it antioxidants, and I will write the actual word up here for you guys. Um, so it just has more antioxidants in it. So it's actually good for you. It's not bad for you. But some people just don't like the discoloration. The other thing I'll show you, you'll notice that its heads aren't as tight. It was starting to probably soon bolt and go to seed. So it's good to go ahead and get them out. looks like when it's going to seed. Probably feed this one to my chickens. It really doesn't taste any different, but it's not as pretty. Um, but this is what it looks like when it's starting to bolt and go to seed. I'm trying to catch cauliflowers before they do this. This one didn't quite do it, almost. And this is why I'm out here today harvesting cauliflower. I don't think we can complain. So what I'm gonna do with this cauliflower, like I do with everything else, I'm gonna go soak it, it gets the bugs out of it and it keeps it crispy and fresh. I thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching me protect cauliflower from the sun and harvest cauliflower. I am very excited with my results. Wait, what is